hey, please be sure to subscribe. What a perfect time to start recording. Marty the dog just followed me on Twitter. Woo! Marty the fucking dog, motherfucker. I have the fucking calendar right here. Is it still February? It is. I got the t-shirt for Marty the dog. I follow it on all social medias. Fuck! I have never, ever freaked out over a follow that much in my entire life. Again, see, like, if you guys saw my video earlier today, this, I don't know why the lobby's... That's a fucking hilarious. Fucking, he has a verified mark in this thing. But I don't know why my lobbies are just logging. I was just DMing Marty. He's fucking freaking out. I DM Marty saying, like, whoever's taking care of her is doing a fucking great job. Like, obviously, the owner of the account. Because whoever's taking care of that dog is doing a great job. I'm sure when they got the dog, they didn't even think to, you know, make money off her or try to, you know, make her famous. I'm sure it just happened because, you know, they were taking such good care of her and they thought she was so adorable. I was gonna tell you guys how much I actually do love that dog. Like, that dog might as well be my fucking dog. I love it. <sighs> Guys, I'm in, I'm in like a fucking great mood today. So something actually pretty funny happened yesterday. Actually, today. It was actually this morning, but it happened a few days ago. So if you guys saw my 500,000 follower tweet where I tweeted out a picture of ice cream, I can probably go see that in my photos on Twitter. It's actually pretty big ice cream. It's like 12 scoops of cotton candy ice cream with M&Ms on it. It was amazing. So I went to the place to get that ice cream the other day. I thought it was so good that I had to go again. And the guy at the register, you know, I was like, so, you know, could you could you give me 12 scoops of ice cream? He's like, is it for you? And I'm like, yeah. And then he was like, damn. What? Like, he was just like, whoa. And he was super, super nice. And then I was wearing my Rain, you know, that zip-up hoodie, by the way, which is in stock now. And this dude, he, like, we were just talking. He was, like, super, super nice guy. And then he just randomly looks at my chest and he says, is that a FaZe shirt? And I said, oh, yeah. And he was asking me questions. I'm like, yeah, I'm actually one of the co-owners of it. We live in a house, uh, like, over here in the, the street area. that He knows what street area that is. And he was like, what? Are you serious? But, like, he didn't know who we were because he used to watch us, like, two years ago. I actually said, like, when Black Ops 2 first came out. And he hasn't, like, you know, watched us since then because he just, you know, had to go to school and everything. But he stopped watching and playing and everything. And I told him, like, who I was. I said, my name's Phaser. He's like, oh, are you serious? Like, he knew who I was because of my gamer tag, but not because of who I am. And he just thought it was so cool. He was actually tweeting at me this morning. I don't even know how I saw the tweet. But I, just, I was at the gym. Before I started, I just, you know, looked at my tweets and I saw him in there. He's like, was that actually you that came to my store, blah, blah, blah? Or came to get ice cream? I said, yeah, dude. And I thought it was crazy. He's like, you know, I'm back to fucking, I'm asking, you reminded me how fun it was and everything. So I thought that was actually really cool. This dude was like in mid-20s. So like, when he asked me about the face shirt, I thought, I'm like, oh, so you have like a little brother that plays or something? I just assumed. I don't know. I thought like he's a little bit older. So I didn't know. I think my favorite part about, you know, meeting fans and meeting people that know who I am is just to hear what they have to say like it really really does like mean a lot to me I don't know if you guys can actually like tell that through my videos or understand that but it really really does so whenever like I hear really kind words and I feel like it's a genuine thing to say I that means the world to me most fans are really like that too and they seem pretty genuine but then some people literally they'll be like oh so could you add me could you you know do this that and the other and I don't I, it kind of bothers me that that's the first thought that comes out of their mind and I mean that's those type of people but I love the people that actually have like very constructive things to say that's like the best in my opinion it's actually crazy, like, how much of a nerd I still am. Like, I'll watch some people's videos and they'll hit, like, the craziest tomahawks like that. And their reaction will be like, oh, cool, I hit it. And then there's fucking me, and I fucking just lose my shit. Like, I wish some of you guys would be like, oh, you know, you're just over-exaggerating. Like, I, I fucking wish! I genuinely am that nerdy. I genuinely get that fucking excited. I've been like that since day one. Just fucking shit. Just fucking is so cool to me. I scream over everything. I scream over goals in FIFA. I'm just an excited person, and... Ah, I'm weird. Especially when I get all riled up and going and I'm just playing and I'm like, let's fucking get the shit. Especially then do I get loud. I mean, sometimes if I'm just so tired, I'd probably still, you know, have like a half freak out. But like most times I play, I fucking go, I get kind of nuts. So I just realized the weirdest thing. So yesterday I uploaded a 30 headshot free for all challenge to my second channel. And it was basically gameplay of me just basically in the middle of making a video for yesterday's channel. Yesterday's channel. Yesterday's video. And I just randomly was playing. I wasn't even, like, trying to make a video. I was just talking regularly in case something happens. You know, just regular video making. So I did the 30 hedge... So I did the 30 free-for-all headshot challenge on my second channel yesterday. And it was basically leftover footage from here. And I was watching it today because I never watched it before I uploaded it. I just said, okay. And I was watching it back. Dude, I am the weirdest fuck ever. Like, straight up, I am so weird. Like, I don't even remember saying half that shit. That's all, like, subconscious shit that I've, I was just saying. It's the weirdest video ever. It, it kind of shows why I have to cut up my videos. Because when I'm just playing and sitting here, I fucking swear a lot. Like, a lot more than usual. I don't even realize it. I just say random stuff. Like, I don't even, I don't even think. Guys, from here on out, I vow to never, ever 720 again. <laughs> I, <didn't, laughs> I, was, I was just kidding around, I swear, I swear, what the fuck even happened here? I didn't even mean to do that, I don't even know who the hell I killed. Where the hell did I shoot him? 
Oh, sh damn. Look at that defense. What's good? No, you can stay, dude. I want to do, I'm just do my outro. Thank you for watching the video. It's been orange. <laughs> Drop Yeah, peace out. That'd be so funny if that was the <laughs> <laughs> No. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. It's been Boyd Chat or Phaser. I want you guys to keep it real. Drop a like video if you Drop a video, a like video if you guys enjoy. Second channel video going up today. I actually double uploaded as well today. We got Phase Banks in the building. Hi. Yes. Hi. Peace out, everybody. You want to sing a song when they do that? Sure. Amen. Take me to church, I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. I'll tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that deathless death, good God, let me give you my life. Take me to church, I'll worship like a dog and the shrine of your lies. I'll tell you my sins and you can... Yes, yeah, see, that was good. <laughs>